her name that's the trigger to go forward. With nice words said about you beforehand, nice words said about you afterwards, as I say, the surname. Um, should you miss that for whatever reason, you get a short, a short prod <laughs> from Gordon here who will um, accelerate you forward. And forward you go, three or four paces that it takes yourself to centre upon yourself upon the Prince of Wales. Turn to face him. Gentlemen, please, a little neck bow as I do there, and the ladies, a little curtsy. Um, and then forward you go under your own steam until you get to the point where your toes are up against the edge of the dais on which he is standing. Please do not climb the dais. <laughs> um, it does get crowded. Um, and when you get here, he will present you your awards. And in the cases of the gentleman, and I see you've all got hooks placed on your lapels now, in the case of the gentleman, um, it's a medal. And in the case of the ladies, it'll be a brooch that will be placed upon, your, upon, your, upon those hooks. Um, and during the course of that giving, there is a conversation, a conversation between yourself and, and the Prince of Wales, which ends when he offers you his hand. Take it, shake it, remember to let it go, and, and reverse back the three or four paces that it takes to get to the start point. When you get to this point, please, everything in reverse, dip at the head from the gentleman, little curtsy from the ladies, turn to your right on this occasion, past the second gentleman usher, and through the exit doors. What happens when you go through that exit door? We'll take the awards off you. Very short-lived all this, isn't it, really? <laughs> take the awards off you, box them up, give them back to you, and usher you back into the ballroom where you can witness the balance of proceedings. Yeah. It is actually very, very simple. Um, and what else can I say? Ladies will take your handbags off you before you go in, um, and probably depending on the quality of your cuts, you'll get them back afterwards. Um, <laughs> good. Well, any questions at all? Yes? I don't think there's any particular convention, whatever you're comfortable. Um, no, well, I'm probably better balanced on my right or something, but don't fall over is the key thing, I think. <laughs> um, yeah. Hats on, please. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, we'll pick you up shortly. Many thanks indeed. The scene is set, the briefings are over, and the investiture is about to begin. It's 11 o'clock. Gentlemen, please be seated.
On view throughout the palace is a treasure trove of art that establishes the royal collection as one of the major collections in the world today. There is a feast of fine paintings by such great European masters as Rubens, Vermeer, Rembrandt, Van Dyck, Cousin, Zuccarelli and Canaletto. There can be few waiting rooms in the world that offer their visitors such a wonderful display of original art as these state rooms give today's recipients and their guests. Honours and awards are not given lightly. They've been justly earned, and the investiture ceremony is the country's acknowledgement of that particular achievement. Many countries in the world today have honours and awards of one sort or another, but nowhere is the bestowing of titles and decorations performed in such splendid surroundings and with such grace, style and ceremony. The Venerable Dr. Vitaran Deniai Kasapa for services to the International Buddhist Relief Organization. I think one of the most important aspects of, of an investiture is to be able to reward in a suitable way the selfless um, service and, and dedication of so many of these remarkable people. People who've dedicated their lives in, in all sorts of sort of unseen areas. I'm, I'm aware, only too aware, that for the vast majority of people who come to investigate is a very important moment in their lives when they've been given an honor and a reward and a thank you for all the marvelous things they've done. The great thing I, I believe anyway is to try and have a, a word with each one.